my name is Maddie, this is my dog Eliza, and we just sold our DIY van, moved from the USA to Germany, and bought an abandoned house in the German countryside that just so happens to need a lot of work. This week we'll be tackling the garden big time, removing a dense forest of over 10 foot tall blackberry bushes bedded deep into the soil, have our first go at heavy machinery, and I'll finally be telling you guys all about the month old running ducks we're doing this all for. With the help of Ellie, who we are living and renovating this house with, we plan to transform this old house into our dream home one week at a time. Today, I am tackling these blackberry bushes. I've kind of been putting it off, but it really needs to be done, especially because we have a really special surprise coming in just a few days. I look like an evil scientist. <laughs> We made even better headway today than I thought we would. That is not supposed to happen. Oh, there's all these bugs. I think that we need to replace this whole post. We have to replace at least a few of the posts and we're still mulling over whether or not we're gonna replace the entire fence, we'll be able to get a rototiller in here to finally get rid of the roots of these blackberry bushes and they are so deep beneath the soil that without the rototiller, I don't think we would ever get rid of them. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. is so hard but it is very satisfying watching all of these blackberry bushes go to pieces we're gonna have nightmares about these plants we have been rototilling for hours it started to rain really heavily so we weren't really able to film that much it's actually raining heavily again right now which also means that where we've been working has become this great big swamp. I think we've been working out here for like six hours today, which brings the total amount of hours that we've both worked on this garden just to get it cleared. It's so much louder when I go in there. Ellie is still working right now. It's probably like well over 42 hours just clearing blackberries. It might even be more, but we're nearing the end of our day. We are covered in mud from head to toe, but we're almost done with this step and I'm just so ready to be done. This part's gonna take a really long time. We have to go through with a rake and try to get all of the big bits of the plant out. And then we need to go back through with the rototiller and try to get even more of it out. And it's just going to probably be as tall as our roof by the time we get done here. Our friend brought over a big flatbed, so I'm just going to throw all of the blackberry bushes that we took out of the garden into there now. Look how it is, Liza. I can't even express how happy I am to finally be completely getting rid of these blackberry bushes. They are my ultimate nemesis at this point. Come on here, Peanut. Come here, Peanut. Come on up. Very good. Very good. Meet Dottie and Peanut. I think now is as good a time as any to tell you guys about this big surprise. I am sitting here with Dottie and Peanut, and these are our two running ducks. Before Ellie and I even moved into this house in Germany, her mom told us that she was getting a clutch of eggs. 
Running ducks are super popular in this neighborhood. A lot of our neighbors have running ducks in small enclosures with short fences. There's not a lot of predators around and they're really good for pest control. There are so many slugs and snails and other pesky critters who would love nothing more than to eat all of your flowers and your vegetables in your garden. And so this is honestly the most popular form of pest control. Outside of that, they also make incredible pets. They live as long as some dog breeds. They're very sweet and lovely, especially if they imprint on you as Dottie and Peanut have on Ellie and myself. But I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. When Yana told us that she was getting her eggs, there was no way of knowing how many of them would survive. And also, Ellie and I had no idea when she would be getting her duck eggs. And so when I did eventually soften to the idea of getting running ducks after seeing them around the neighborhood day after day after day, I did not think it was going to be so soon. Leading up to their hatching, Ellie and I found ourselves at her house almost every single day. Ellie's mom would put them in warm water and you could actually see the little ducklings moving around in their eggs so much more easily that way. And before too long, all of them were hatching. We are currently on our way to go pick up our baby ducklings. I can't wait to meet them. That's very really exciting. What you doing? It's definitely wild looking at that footage back for a few different reasons. The first is that my eyes immediately train towards these two ducks in the clutch, which is pretty much exactly how it happened the day of. And the second reason you guys might be able to guess just from looking at the ducklings in front of you. These ducklings are a month old and yet they are massive. If you haven't kept ducklings yourself, you might not know how quickly they grow and it has been such a crazy, incredible experience to see just how quickly they grow, literally overnight. <laughs> I'm so happy. They just keep climbing higher up on me. What is this, Eliza? Within week one and two of having these ducks, they were imprinting on both Ellie and I. What's in there? <laughs> Just my children. When I have to do chores around the house, because they'll squeal if we don't come, I put them right here, and then I just hold my cardigan like this, and I do everything one-handed. And I've gotten pretty good at it. I've swept, I've cleaned their pen. Oh, I've brushed my teeth. It's going well. <laughs> Life of a duck parent. By the third week, Dottie here was already starting to make quack noises, and we were also letting them outside for very short intervals on beautiful warm days. Mostly they're really independent. They immediately knew how to forage for themselves. They're very silly and kind of clumsy, and they definitely walk like penguins. And they follow Ellie and I everywhere we go. We still don't know the sex of Dottie and Peanut. It's really hard to tell unless you're comfortable with vent sexing, which I'll let you guys look up on your own. We were not comfortable with that, but we do suspect that they might be both girls and that is by the sounds they make. <laughs> now you have something to say? Now you have something to say? They do sound quite different, eh? I have done so much research on running ducks, it's why we decided to get them ultimately. Ducklings are flock animals, so they like to be with creatures of their own kind. We decided to get two because we weren't sure about the sex of any of the babies, and there is a possibility that we might get a third one down the line if all works out. But for now, we have Dottie and Peanut, and I love them so dearly. I'm so obsessed with them. I spend almost all of my time with them. I'm still kind of hoping that Eliza is going to warm up to them in the upcoming weeks, but I'm not so sure. I think she's a little jealous. I think she doesn't love that now she's not the only child, but she tolerates them, and at least she doesn't try to eat them, which I'm definitely grateful for. She usually just walks away if they get any closer to her than this. Most of the time she's indifferent, but I'm just happy that she's not animated. She doesn't want to eat them. In fact, she's actually kind of afraid of them and will run away from them if they get too close. <laughs> And now that they're no longer a secret, you guys are going to be seeing them on the channel so much, so much more. 
Long story short, these two ducklings are the reason we are getting to our vegetable garden as quickly as we are. Ellie and I both know we want a vegetable garden. We want flowers everywhere in this yard too. But the main point of this is to get that area ready for these guys. Because in just four more weeks, they're going to look fully grown. They'll need a large pond that they can swim and forage in every single day. They'll need a duck house that Ellie and I think we're going to build ourselves. And they'll need a nice fenced in area where we can keep an eye on them. Luckily, we don't have a lot of predators for these guys around. Everyone in this area has short fences where they keep their ducklings. I don't think it's much of a risk at all and of course they will be safe in a duck house at night. And with that, let's get back to making their garden for them. <laughs> We are trying to make a duck coop, like a chicken coop, but for ducks. We already found something that we can use, like a chicken coop thing. We have to attach some more wires so that it has wire on all sides and it's safe for them to play in. And that just so happens to be the perfect segue into the sponsor of this week's video, Bluetti, who is powering the entire renovation of our little duckling coop and who is powering the entire transformation of our vicious 10 foot tall blackberry forest into the garden of our dreams. Bluetti is a company that specializes in well-designed, high quality power banks for power you can rely on. I personally have been using Bluetti power banks for over six months now, even back when I was still living in my van. And I am so happy to report that Bluetti is even available here in Europe with European style outlets, which is how I was able to get the AC200L that I am showcasing for you guys today. The AC200L is a large capacity, high powered power bank with a 2400 watt power, a 3600 watt power lifting mode, and a 2048 watt hour capacity. All this means is that you can power virtually any home appliance or power tool you could possibly imagine. From the simple staple gun we used for this little ducky renovation to the machete I used to cut down the vicious 10 foot tall blackberry bushes to the miter saw I used to cut our garden posts and so, so much more. Outside of the fact that Bluetti power banks are so convenient if you need power outdoors, Ellie and I have also been relying very heavily on our AC200L for indoors while we're working on our home renovation. We're currently in the process of upgrading a lot of our electrical system. It's very old and so we have been using our Bluetti power bank to power virtually all of our kitchen appliances. One of the things that separate Bluetti power banks from others on the market is their fast charging capabilities. Our AC200L can charge up to 80% in just 45 minutes and it can also charge up to 80% in just 90 minutes if you are using 1200 watts of solar to charge it. And thanks to Bluetti's newly upgraded bi-directional inverter technology, it means you no longer need to use an external adapter to do so. What this means for us is that Ellie and I can be using our Bluetti for days at a time, even weeks at a time, without it ever running out of batteries, and then have it ready to go again in under an hour. If you do happen to be off-grid, Bluetti has actually increased expandability of this particular battery, meaning you can attach it to other Bluetti batteries, all the way up to two B300. I was truly, honestly, so relieved when I found out the Bluetti is available with European style outlets because I have been using Bluetti products every single day, literally for months and months and months. If you guys happen to be looking for a power bank for your own power needs, whether it's off grid or outdoors, or you're doing a home renovation, I highly recommend checking Bluetti out. Thank you so much to Bluetti for sponsoring today's video. And with that, let's get on to the rest. Gotta protect the ducklings from sharp edges. I'm wearing shoes to honor the occasion. This sock shoe combo just really screams duck to me. Life's good. <laughs> Definitely the tone for me. <laughs> Tell me you have bad tools without telling me you have bad tools. <laughs> Can we just be done? <laughs> it's not coming off. I think it's empty now. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you just right here, though. Dandelion. Boop. Let's get them. You think they won't? They won't like. No, they're fine. They're ducks. Would you believe it? They were sleeping peacefully for once, but they're gonna have some exciting exploring to do. Oh, oh. Okay. See, Dodi, Peanut. You ready? We have really ambitious plans today because we want to get this garden ready as quickly as possible. The ducklings are growing 
so fast. We still have a bunch of blackberry bushes that are just sticking straight out of the dirt. We are both going at them with a vengeance. Look at this. We need to get rid of a shed over in that corner and we also need to start digging a pond. We'll see how much we'll be able to get in today, but again, very ambitious. We'll see how it goes. We got this. We also really need to fix some of these fence posts that are entirely riding on the bottom and we did already buy some supports the other day that should hopefully help us a lot. So one more thing for the list. Babies! We're done with that part. It took three hours. It took 10 hours and two mental breakdowns, two ice creams, 10 <laughs> waters, and a ton of sunscreen. How are you feeling? I feel good. I just kind of wish there were more hours in the day. Maybe they have little stairs, it's like a jacuzzi. As you can see, the little babies are joining in on the fun today. Are you guys sleepy? Oh my gosh, they're literally falling asleep. Oh God. No surprise here, but Ellie and I were not able to accomplish everything on our to-do list in one day alone. It's just a ton of work. Yesterday, we actually managed to take out the structure that was in the garden. It was huge and taking up so much room. I'm pretty sure originally it was a chicken coop. And then by the time the previous owner passed away, it was just a storage unit. By the time we took it apart, it was just full of spiders and some actual really good wood we're gonna use for garden beds in here. We're actually going to build a duck house specifically for these little guys. That structure would not have worked at all for them. And it also just took up an outrageous amount of room and they're only gonna be in there at night anyways. It feels really good to get that structure out. A lot of it we did off camera, but I did get a few really good clips of Ellie going absolutely haywire with our giant hammer. And it was definitely a tough day of work just to get that out of here. Today we are working on shortening the fence line. We do not need it as high. We don't have very many predators here in Germany. There are foxes to worry about at night, but our little babies will of course go in their duck house at night. I'm going to stop chitter chattering and just get to work. It's hard to I'm finally going to finish installing this fence today, and I could not be more stoked. Let's get to it. I definitely don't think that the miter saw is the best tool for the job, but it is the best tool that we have for the job. No matter Every time I have to come into this workspace to grab a tool, I get so happy. If you guys haven't seen that transformation video yet, you should click on that video after this one because it was so fun to do. It was such hard work and I just think it turned out so perfectly. You set the weather. Every cloud, every rain. One done, nine more to go. It took me about an hour just to put those things together, but now it's time to hammer them into the ground, finally. That was harder than it should have been. We decided we're gonna have two entrances to the garden. One right here and one where there was already an entrance before. And I think that this one, which was part of that structure that Ellie and I took down the other day, will go perfectly in place of the one that was there before. I'm not gonna do too much work to it because I just have so much work to do, but hopefully this will give it some new life. Oh, 
was harder than I thought it was going to be. Well, you guys, it's just about 8.30. I have yet to fully complete the fence. I'm still working on it, but I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna work off camera because I just really wanna get this done so that tomorrow I can really get to making the garden beds. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with the check-in. <sighs> Wish me luck. All right, you guys, it is actually a couple days later and here is where we are with the garden fence. Putting on this top wire took way longer than I thought it would, but all of the posts are officially in and today I can get going on the garden bed. We have all of our spare garden posts leaning up against this wall. And the more I think about it, the more I think that these could really work for our purposes. Some of them are rotting, so obviously I won't use those as much, but these are perfectly good and we're not using them for anything else. This is all the wood that I found in the garden shed. I'm kind of trying to see how much I'll be able to make out of all of this. We don't have a table saw, so we can't change the width of anything. We just have a miter saw and a circular saw. And frankly, I don't really want to use the circular saw too much today. I just want to chop, chop, chop put it all together. So we're just going to see how we can do this the most quickly while still making them look good. We're getting a little creative over here since we have a lot of wood left over that we want to reuse. having enough scrap wood to make all four of our garden beds as large as we'd like them to. So we did go to the Bauhaus and we picked up some more panels. Maybe you guys can tell me if these were well priced or not. I already cut all four of them, but these were nine euros per plank. So I don't know, it seems a little pricey, but hopefully now we'll be able to finish these up in the next couple hours or so. Good. That looks good, she says, it looks good. butter. I finished the main part of my little garden bed and now I'm adding this moisture barrier we got to the edges. A lot of people will add wire to their garden beds but we decided not to do that. The big reason people do that is so that mice can't get into their garden beds but our garden beds are so short to the ground that mice can just climb over and so we'd rather not waste the material. <laughs> And also our soil actually is pretty good in this garden, so we wouldn't be mad if the roots end up going beyond what we have made for them. One is done. That feels really good. Goes right where you guys are. <laughs> I just realized that I put our insulator on the wrong way. I don't think I care enough to fix it. I thought it was mostly for a vapor barrier anyway, so hopefully it doesn't matter too much. It's, yeah, to, to protect the wood a little bit, but the bubbles are there to put them air in between as well so that the wood doesn't mold as far. Don't be like me. Read the instructions. We're sinking into the sand on one side. Yeah. Uh, this is not the final product. There is Can't so... <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to some of these projects that it's just impossible to finish it in a week. So next week we're going to be doing a lot more. And this project wasn't even just a week. We started no, filming weeks long. <laughs> weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks long. Well, I'm honestly, it's kind of crazy to even see it like this. I'm hoping that by splitting this particular transformation into two videos, we'll be able to do it justice for our little baby ducklings and for our future bellies <laughs> and future nostrils. Bell. <laughs> Anyways, we're tired. I think it's 9.45. <laughs> we are going to end this half of this transformation here and next week we are going to finish up with a lot of it. We're going to make that pond, we're hopefully gonna make the duck house and so many other things that we wanna to change into the garden to make it ready for our new little babies. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. And take care of yourselves. And be kind. Stop. <laughs> okay. No! I wrote it. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Now 
we can no we can't. <laughs> Put dirt all over it. They squirm so much! We are trying something new today, talking to the camera. They always say Germany is just cold and grey, which is not true. Not today it isn't. Only for six months of the year, okay? Almost out of batteries. The little babies. The little babies.